Thank you for joining the Glamour Girl Show, a video series based on the Glamour Girl movement and the book Glamour Girl God Inspired Beauty Secrets. I want to share with you why I wrote my upcoming book and just a few snippets from the book. This book is bound to change your life and it shares with you how to attain beauty from the inside out. Beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. God purposely created women to be beautiful and unique. Glamour Girl God Inspired Beauty Secrets teaches women how to recognize the beauty that God has given them and how to use this special gift. This book takes beauty rituals to another level, and women will walk away with a newfound knowledge of beauty that is based upon biblical principles. As the most unique book on its subject, it features practical beauty tips that are woven throughout the book to keep you involved. And it also brings to life the true glamour girl of the Bible, Queen Esther. Glamour Girl, God Inspired Beauty Secrets is a must-read for any woman seeking true beauty, both inner and outer, through the eyes of God. Glamour Girl, God Inspired Beauty Secrets takes a fresh look at a woman's need to be beautiful, not only in the sight of man, but most importantly in the sight of God. God created beauty which means that in the midst of all the cosmetics and beauty rituals are biblical principles. With this book, the reader learns how to get the most out of cosmetics for outward beauty and all the while learns associated biblical principles to enhance inward beauty. You will learn that each step of putting on makeup has a spiritual application. There is also an interesting look at the book of Esther. Before becoming queen, Esther had to undergo a very rigorous, beauty treatment that lasted 365 days, an entire year. After reading my book, you will begin to understand the need to look deeper and dig deeper to find purpose in your beauty and beauty treatment. By the end of this book, you will know that God is the only one who can and will give you the ultimate makeover. I am a former licensed esthetician and I previously worked at a Memphis salon where I provided customers with relaxation and rejuvenation services such as facial, waxing, makeup applications, and much more. I also worked as a freelance makeup artist for a couple of years doing weddings and special events. I've always had a love for makeup, and I attended the Tennessee Academy of Cosmetology back in 2002 to receive proper training and experience. And it was then that I discovered that I could combine my love for beauty with my love for writing. Prior to receiving my esthetician license, I also received a Bachelor of Art in English from the University of Memphis in 2000, and I also received a Master's Degree in Religious Journalism in December of 2003, also from the University of Memphis. I've written for several, several publications, and I also launched my own publication, Divine Magazine, in 2008. Before we jump into the chapter summary, I want to start off with a prayer. Lord, I pray for each woman tuned in to this video. I pray that she will receive everything that you will have her to receive today. I pray that Glamour Girl, God Inspired Beauty Secrets is a huge blessing to every woman that desires to find her true Glamour Girl. For each woman listening, I pray that you will order her steps and show her the purpose for which she was created. Lord, use me as a catalyst to ignite the fire of beauty from the inside out of each and every listener. I pray that in a few short months, Glamour Girl God Inspired Beauty Secrets book and the Glamour Girl movement will inspire women everywhere to be what you have called them to be, no matter where they've been or what they've done. Lord, we give you the honor, the glory, and we thank you for loving us through every phase of our lives. Amen. Now, let's jump into our chapter summary. And remember to visit www.theglamourgirlmovement.com for more information on how to find your true glamour girl. So chapter one of my upcoming book is called It's What's on the Inside. In this chapter, we'll discuss, it will describe the beauty that God has placed on the inside of every woman that he has created. And so we'll just explore just the inner beauty and what God expects of us as virtuous women. Chapter 2 is called Life-Changing Beauty Secrets, and it teaches women how the beauty tips and secrets that they have used for years have such, have a much deeper meaning. 
you will learn the spiritual application of foundation, eyeshadow, cheek color, lip color, and more. That's a really fun chapter. Chapter 3 is called Beauty Transformation, and it emphasizes the importance of taking the time to level with God. It reminds women that regardless of where you've been in life, there's always room for a beauty transformation of the soul. So stop using the excuse of, oh, I did this and I did that. It's time for you to get the ultimate makeover. So chapter 3 basically encourages you on the importance of taking time to level with God. Chapter 4, A Natural Look, it shows women how to make good use of your time. It stresses the importance of knowing that there is a time for everything. The most effective time is the time that we spend with God and not being afraid to give Him our full attention, and not being too busy to give Him our full attention. Chapter 5 is entitled Covering It Up. It takes a unique look at what is known in the beauty world as concealer. Spiritually, this is applied to the way God covers our sins with his mercy and his grace. We know that in beauty, if you have acne scars or if you have blemishes, then you can use concealer to dab over it before you even put on your foundation and it makes your skin look flawless. And well, God can give you that same result. So this chapter will reveal to you how all of your sins are forgiven like a stroke of a concealer brush. Chapter 6, Taking It All Off. It teaches women how to accept themselves for who they really are. It will equip you with the tools that you need to be pleased with yourself. You don't have to worry about pleasing this person and that person. Once you learn how to be pleased with yourself, then everything else will fall into place. So this chapter discusses the importance of and the power of self-esteem and confidence, and it reiterates the beauty of strength. Chapter 7. What is the big secret? What is a sabbatical? What is that about? So it'll reveal a personal testimony of a sabbatical that I went on. I was advised by a family member to go on this year-long sabbatical where it was time alone with God and I was focusing on certain things. And it made a tremendous difference in my life. And I want to share with you the steps and the things that I did during my journey. And it, it was also an inspiration for this book because, as I mentioned earlier, Queen Esther went on a 360-day, 65-day beauty regimen. And so I was kind of doing a similar thing, 365 days, and I put the two together. And God just revealed so many things to me about this year-long process. And so it, this chapter also talks about if you're not able to do a year-long process, uh, the amount of time that you could do your sabbatical for. It just explains the purpose of it all. And ultimately, it explains that any time spent along with God is an invaluable experience. It explores the purpose and the fulfillment of a sabbatical. Chapter 8 is about Esther, the true glamour girl. This is who we follow with our glamour girl movement. We are following the steps of Queen Esther. Um, it explores the life of Queen Esther. It takes an in-depth look at Esther's rise to Queen with an exciting venture into Esther's first beauty contest. Chapter 9 is called The Master Artist, and it challenges women to realize that Jesus is the true master artist. We have a lot of makeup gurus and great and excellent makeup artists, but none of them can... Um, give you the power to dramatically change from the inside out like Jesus can. So I refer to him as the master artist. And so we just explore the things that Christ is able to do if you put your hands in his hand and the dramatic changes that he can bring into your life. Chapter 10, please, with the results. You've heard that saying before. Chapter 10 impresses upon you that the harvest that is reaped after the month and sometimes years of sowing is priceless. So it just tells you what happens if you take the time to get in line with God and, it is, and to discover what your purpose is. The end results are priceless. You will definitely be pleased with the results. You'll be happy. You'll be walking in your purpose. And you'll understand why you did what you did and, and what you were created to do. Chapter 11 the beauty of it all, it encourages you to have a firm foundation with 
Number one, God. Number two, yourself. Number three, a spouse if you're married. Number four, children. And number five, friends. It stresses that the relationships that we have with God and other people in our lives, it shapes who we are. It's vital to our survival and the people surrounding us. So again, that order is God first, then ourselves, because if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't be anything to anyone else. So we're second after God, then our spouse if we're married, then our children, and then our friends. Chapter 12 discusses timeless beauty. It focuses on the joy of being in God's will. It teaches you that trusting in God has excellent benefits and eternal rewards. And it also reminds us as women, even in the business of our lives, we're trying to move up the ladder, we are planning our weddings, we are planning our vacations, we're hanging out with friends and doing all these things, being parents, being wives, being uh, the president of the PTA, all these different things we have going on in our lives, it reminds us that those things are great, but the ultimate goal is to prepare for eternity, and we cannot forget that. And then, Beauty That Never Fades is just a chapter that I'm closing out the entire book, and I am ultimately reminding women of the purpose of beauty, um, how um, we are to walk in our purpose, and how we are to focus on beauty from the inside out so that we can do what it was we were called to do. And so that chapter just basically closes everything out and packages everything up into a nice, beautiful present with a beautiful ribbon and ties it all together. And also, in the book, you will find a couple of workbook pages, so to speak. It's called Self-Discovery, and you will be able to evaluate yourself to see where you are, what areas you need to grow in, goal setting and things like that and you'll answer thought provoking questions and we'll study scripture to go along with it and it'll basically serve as a starting point towards being in a deeper relationship with God. So I certainly hope that you enjoy the snippets from the book and remember to go to www.theglamourgirlmovement.com and join the movement and Keep in touch, check back often. We will be doing lots of fun things, and I will also be revealing a few more videos like this on various subjects. Um, I would say I will explore what a sabbatical is, and we will also have other videos Esther, the True Glamour Girl, a study of biblical beauty, how to find beauty in the scriptures, how to face the woman in the mirror, accomplishing goals that make you beautiful, defining your self esteem. And like I mentioned earlier, I also publish a magazine and I'm very passionate about sharing with other people how to start their own businesses or start a magazine or a newsletter or what have you. And so I will have some other videos on how to start your own magazine, how to fund your vision, balancing life, the glitter, the glamour, and the oh my goodness, making your ideas a reality, and how to plan your own network of events. So again, check us out www.theglamourgirlmovement.com. The book will be available for pre-orders with a really great discount between now and the release of the book in November. So make sure you go and pre-order your book. And after November, the book will be available for purchase at its regular price. And if you're interested in my publication, feel free to jump on over to divinemagazineonline.com so you can check that out and who knows I may feature you in an upcoming issue so I hope you enjoyed the video feel free to watch it again and again so you can get ready for this glamour girl movement that's about to take place thank you be blessed and have a beautiful day